Today's video is brought to you by Squarespace. How many times has a product come out and you thought to yourself, how has no one thought of that before? And like more importantly, how, how didn't I think of that? That is how I feel about what is inside this box right here. How do you get into this? This is one of those things that, that I saw announced, like I saw him talk about it and I was like, that's so smart. And again, how, how has no, where is the opening to this box? Because I actually have been having this problem. Oh, I don't understand this box. Where does it open? Going through the bottom. How has no one thought about this product right here, the Tri-Charge from Peter Lindgren. And the main issue this is gonna solve for me is, excuse my current messy camera bag, but I, I just kind of throw my Sony batteries in here. Like I just kind of chuck them in one of these little dividers. And usually what that means is that then when I need to go find a battery, they're like up here or up there or up there. That's usually where I find my Sony batteries. I know that there's like bags where you can like hold your your batteries. I just never got one. Now this though, it, it holds your batteries, but it does something else or does a few other things that again, just like, this is genius. The Tri-Charge from, it's actually from Jupio, but Peter Lindgren made it. He designed it. He thought of this idea. He found Jupio to partner with, and then they made they made this thing, the Tri-Charge. Okay, let's walk through what this thing is today and then why like this is, if you're a creator, like photography, videography, anything with either Sony batteries, Canon batteries, or Nikon batteries, you you probably want this in your bag. Hey, a quick note before we jump into this thing, the channel just crossed 400,000 subscribers, so just a massive thank you to you guys. I appreciate you watching so dang much and yeah, it's crazy. This job is so crazy, so cool. And yeah, it's because you guys watch. Because you watch, I get to do this as my job. It is not lost on me. Okay, let's load this thing up. Three batteries, it can hold my three Sony bat. Oh, I'll tell you more, hold on. Load in my three Sony batteries. The first thing that's just like, oh, is on the front here, each battery has four LED lights that tell me how much charge is in that battery. When I used to shoot weddings, I would put, I would put these little post-it notes on my battery. So like when they were in my, my Pelican case, I would, before I went to the shoot, I would charge them up, but all my batteries would have post-it notes like this. And then once I used it, once it was a burned battery, I would peel that off, just toss that somewhere else. And I knew in my bag, if a battery was sitting there without a post-it note on it, it was dead. Like I'd already used it. I don't do that anymore. So now oftentimes I go grab batteries out of my bag. And again, they're kind of, They've left their compartment. Usually they're somewhere else in the bag. I grab one and I go, I don't know, let's use my camera to find out if it still has any charge. So the fact that the Tri-Charge has indicators that tell me how much, like, like this is gonna hold my batteries in my bag and it's going to indicate how much power is in each of them. That's already very genius. Now you'll see up top here, it's a spot to hold memory cards, which again, Genius, dude. Uh, I carry a Pelican case with me at all times with a bunch of memory card slots. I usually don't have very many memory cards in here though because in my camera I have two SD cards and then usually in here I'll have like two or three extras. So this holds three SD card slots, two micro SD and three CF Express. Now I should have some CF Express cards because my camera can take them. I don't know, I just never bought them. So those three SD card slots will be very helpful. Let's fill them up and see if they're spring loaded, which I hope they are. And then SD cards go, oh yeah, they are. They're like spring loaded, like just like, like when they go in your camera, they like lock in place with a spring. That's very satisfying. That I like. And now I have three SD cards loaded up, two micro SDs. And again, I don't have any CF Express cards right now, but um, I could put three CF Express cards in there. This thing is killer. And if that's all of this did, like it just held my batteries, told me the charge and held some SD cards, that would be amazing. But it does, it does even more because while it's in here, check USB-C port there, USB-C port there. Now the first one is obvious. That's a, a charger. This is 
a triple charger. Triple charging all my batteries. I don't even own a triple charger, but if I uh, show you what I do use, when I go travel anywhere, I bring both of these with me because this is the, the Sony charger that came with my camera. These are like a hundred bucks to go buy one of these. And then this is one from First Power, which is, I think it's slower, but I can charge two batteries at once. So like I can plug two batteries in, go to sleep, wake up, and two, three are charged for my day to go. This replaces both of these because this charges three batteries for me. Now that again, like that would be amazing. If that was, that's all it did, I'd be like, that's dope. And I for sure will buy one, but it does something else. I need a cable that's not connected. Oh, that one's not connected. I can now use these three batteries, which 2280 each equals, hang on, 2280 times three, 6,840 milliamps. This is a battery bank. So I can now charge things from here. I could plug plug this into the out port. There is an in port and an out port. So the ports are not bi-directional. And then I could plug in my phone here and I am charging my cell phone uh, from, from this thing. So this thing now becomes a portable power bank when I'm out and about. I, now, obviously you wouldn't want to use too many of your camera batteries to charge up your devices like this isn't like what you would want to rely on but it's kind of cool that in a pinch like that's my battery bank and when i know like hey i don't need my i, my, I got plenty of camera battery for the rest of the day i could use this and and drain it dry do you know what this would be okay here's what would make this even better and honestly like in my mind i, I realize i realize this already replaces like a case for my batteries this already replaces multiple chargers to make three charging bricks. It replaces my SD card case. Like this is already going to replace this for sure. And it basically replaces, and it basically replaces bringing a couple of power banks with you somewhere. So like it's already replacing all of these things in my bag with, with just this one thing, with just this one thing. That's clever, but what if it could also replace? What if it could also replace a high speed SD card reader? If this, could have like like one of these SD card slots, one of these micro SD card slots, and one of these CF Express card slots could plug in through the out to my computer and I could use this as a card reader also, that would be even more dope. I imagine they didn't do that because that probably would make it very expensive. Right now it's $129 for this thing, which is very reasonable. Again, for replacing everything that it does, I would give you 150 bucks for this thing. But I imagine if you built in a card reader into here also, like each of those slots in there was a card reader. I imagine this would be like a couple hundred bucks and maybe, I don't know, maybe people would be like, ah, 200 bucks is too much. But what do you guys think? The Jupio Tri-Charge from Peter Lindgren, from Jupio, uh, this will live in my bag, I guarantee it. I will not be carrying this anymore. I will not bring these with me when I travel anymore. I don't need to bring as many power banks with me anymore. And um, I will still bring this with me because I do need a card reader. This is awesome. Thank you, Peter, for making this. And thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. If you guys do not know about Squarespace already, one, you probably don't watch this channel because I love Squarespace. I've been using Squarespace for over 10 years now. I think. I think I crossed my 11 year anniversary with Squarespace. But I first started using Squarespace back in the day because it was easy. I'm a photographer trying to run a photography business. I didn't have time to learn how to build websites and with Squarespace, I could build a super dope website without having to know any of that web stuff. And if you think it was easy back then, like 11 years ago, it's even easier now. Now they have something called their Fluid Engine Design System. And I am telling you, it is more drag and drop than ever to take one of their professionally designed templates and then customize it to your business or whatever little project you wanna do on the internet. Anytime that you're like, I need a, I need a website for this thing, I should buy a domain buy the domain through Squarespace, get your Google work email through Squarespace. Best part is there's a free trial. Go to the first thing in the description, go to squarespace.com and build out your website during that free trial. When you're ready to go live, use code David Manning for 10% off at checkout. Thank you, Squarespace. Just like killer website and killer supporter of creators like me. And a massive thank you again to Peter for sending this thing over because this is, dude, this is so genius. Like I'm, I'm a little upset I didn't think of this. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments and I will see you soon. Kind of like a fidget device too. Like, you know when you find something and you're like, oh, I could just sit there and like, listen to a podcast and futz with this on my desk. This might live on my desk so I can click and futz with it. That's fun. <laughs>